Hey everyone, Randy coming back at you, Carolina Picker. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use calculated shipping and dimensional rates with UPS and not actually lose money on the shipping. So in order to do that, let's go into a couple of screen shares and I'll show you something that I just sold and how I made it work out perfectly for the shipping. So let's get over to the screen shares. Okay, so what I sold here was my Auric Air 108 air purifier and uh, sold it for $98.48, but we'll talk about that uh, in a later video about all my sales for the first half of uh, June. Uh, but basically, when when this thing was, when I was setting this up, okay, uh, it weighed about 15 and a half pounds. Now, with a box, that's going to be about 16 and a half pounds to 17 pounds. So let's just say 17 pounds. Now, if I go over to pirate ship and I put in 17 pounds to the actual uh, zip code of the person that purchased this, you'll see it comes to $21.95. Now, if I were to ship this at $21.95, there's a really, really, really good chance that UPS will go ahead and ship it and then charge me on the back end about another $60 or $70. Well, I only profited... Uh, approximately 55 or 60 dollars on this after all ebay fees advertising fees and all that stuff i profited about 60 to 60 dollars i think it was on this repeat maybe it was 50 dollars i can't remember but anyway uh so i don't want to eat into that profit uh at all so i want to be sure that my shipping is correct when somebody buys it so i can't just put in 17 pounds when i'm actually building out the product listing because uh, if I do and I use calculated shipping, it's only going to charge them $21.95 uh, shipping. Now, the reason behind that is because I choose to have eBay give them my discounts. If I didn't give them my discounts, we wouldn't have to worry about this because it would have charged them $40.51 if I put in 17 pounds. So if you don't give your customers your discount, then you don't even have to worry about this video <laughs> because they would have been charged $40.51 and it would cost you $25 to ship it. So let's take a look here at what we actually ended up with. So what I did was, is uh, and ignore this over here, I'm trying to hide their uh, information without me having to do it in, in post-production. <laughs> so what I ended up having to do here was I, I'm having to put it in a 26 by 21 by 10 box, okay? Now the reason UPS does this is because they want you to get as close to the size of the product as possible uh, because they do it on dimensions. That's how much money they figure out it's going to take them to ship that particular dimension. All right. So instead of the 17 pounds that I would normally put in, I had to come up with 40 pounds. Now, how did I come up with that 40 pounds? Okay. So what you want to do is you want to take the length times the width times the height. So we take 26 times 21 times 10, and that's 5,460. And you divide that by 139. And we come up with 39.28. You got to round up. So that's 40. So 40 pounds is the shipping weight or dimensional weight that I have to use on this particular product. Uh, now, I know that's weird, you know, and strange, but that's just something we have to do when we're shipping with UPS. You certainly wouldn't want to ship this with uh, any other shipping because if you even with 17 pounds put in here, uh, if we look here, USPS is $62.17. Uh, that would just be way too much shipping to charge them. So what I had to do was come up with and put 40 pounds in it when I did the listing. Now let's go ahead and get a rate quote. That's 25.22 is what it's going to cost me to ship this particular package. 25.22. Well, let's see how much I got from the customer. Okay, if we take a look here, what I got from the customer was $25.22. So I got the exact amount uh, from the customer to ship this product with dimensional weight. And that's important because I don't want to lose any money. Now, one might argue, well, what about all your packing materials and your box and everything else? Well, I just kind of eat that as a, just an overall cost. But if you didn't want to do that, you could certainly add a, a handling fee of say a dollar or $2 uh, and it would have charged them like say 27, 22. Uh, and they don't see that handling fee. All they see is that it's going to cost them 27, 22 and that would pay for your box and any packing materials and things like that. But uh, now I know I'm not going through and showing you how to do the other stuff. Maybe I'll do that in a different video. For now, I just want you to see how to use dimensional weight with calculated shipping. Now, why do I use calculated shipping, you might ask? Well, I'm on the East Coast, 
I'm on the east, east coast. <laughs> I'm in eastern North Carolina. So unless I'm shipping to like uh, North Carolina, Virginia, or South Carolina, I have to ship uh, at a higher rate, okay? If you're in like the central United States, everything's centrally located to you, and it might be cheaper for you to ship a different way, okay? Like a regional box or something like that. But for me, it's cheaper to uh, do calculated shipping. Uh, and again, like I say, I messed up there, but uh, I said you might want to use a regional box. What I mean is you might want to use flat shipping. So you might want to put in a zip code for the East Coast and a zip code for the West Coast to see what the most amount is and then just charge flat shipping. But I choose to charge calculated because if I'm shipping to like, say, Virginia, North Carolina or South Carolina, it may only cost me uh, 17 or 18 dollars to ship this. But if I'm shipping to California, it may cost me uh, $50 to ship this or $60 to ship it. Well, I can't, I don't want to put in a flat shipping rate of say $60 and then somebody order it from Virginia and had to pay $60 to get it shipped from here, North Carolina to them. That would just be unfair to the customer. Okay. So I choose to use calculated shipping, but at the same time, I have to use UPS's dimensional weight because this is so big. I'm having to ship it UPS. So that's why I have to use uh, dimensional weight with calculated shipping. So that's, that answers that question if you're wondering why I use calculated shipping. Because I know a lot of people that are centrally located would just use flat shipping and maybe just charge $27 or something flat shipping. And that's all fine. But like I say, if you're on the East Coast or West Coast and you're shipping to the other coast, you have to use calculated shipping or you're going to have to charge your customers that are closer a really high amount of flat shipping so you don't lose any money. So as you can see here, this is what I did. So you have to do this when you are uh, setting the listing up. Okay, so that requires just a little extra work on a bigger item. Smaller items, you don't have to necessarily do all this, but on bigger items, you need to go ahead and figure out your box size and then go ahead and weigh, weigh the item. Because let's say, for example, I was putting this in a 26 by 21 by 10 and it actually weighed 50 pounds then I couldn't use dimensional weight. I'd have to use 50 pounds here because you have to use the higher of the two. Uh, so I hope that makes sense. So if this had weighed 50 pounds, I'd have to put 50 pounds in here. But since it only weighed 17 pounds with the box, I had to figure out the dimensional weight and it turned out to be 40 pounds. So you have to be sure that you're doing a little bit of work with larger items. If you're going to be shipping UPS, you have to do that as you're listing it so that you can do the calculated shipping and know the exact weight amount as well. Now you can manipulate the weight a little bit if you're wanting to get a little bit extra money and just want to be sure you can put in like 42 pounds and it would probably charge them about $27. Or you can do it as a handling fee, like I said a minute ago. Uh, you could put in like a $2 handling fee and it would charge them $27. But either way, this is how you use calculated shipping with dimensional weight uh, shipping UPS. Now, why wouldn't I ship this USPS again? Because it was going to cost 60 some dollars over here, 66.93. And that was at 17 pounds. Uh, if I put in, let me put in 17 pounds again, because that may not be correct. Uh, let's just be sure about that, that weight. Yeah, 62.17, uh, at 17 pounds. So, you know, you're, you're definitely going to want to ship UPS on your heavier <laughs> items. Okay. So I hope this video helped you and that you got a lot of good information out of it. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. That helps YouTube's algorithms say that, hey, maybe this guy is putting out some good content. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and click that little bell so that you know each and every time I post a new video. So uh, with that being said, until next time, I'll see each and every one of you on the flip side.